What is up guys and welcome back to another day with the Auto Works. Today I have the Volkswagen here at the other shop and what we're going to do first is we're going to install a boost gauge vent pod. Now I looked all over YouTube and for some reason nobody does how to's or write ups on how to do this. So I figured what the heck I'll just show you guys how to do it. So let's get started. Alright guys so I've already popped my vent out. This is what it looks like and what we're going to go to is well a boost gauge right here and you'll see that in a minute uh, i recorded this footage already when i was actually doing it and unfortunately the footage got deleted so what i'm gonna do is show you with this one so i got this from the junkyard just to have a spare but basically what you do is you get a clip puller and pry out right here real gently on all four corners and this whole vent will just come right out all right guys so once you got the vent out it's pretty much what it's going to look like you got tabs on all the sides but what I found out is if you just kind of pull up at the top and on the sides and just be kind of gentle with it you can kind of just lift it off all right so basically what you want to do is I, as you can see I've already started pulling on it right here just take a flathead and you got tabs right there too just uh, kind of lightly pry or dare I say twist all right so what you do is just lightly pry on all four corners and this is what you're left with the bezel itself will come separate from that now this right here is the part you're actually going to be replacing this is actually just an insert so what you can do is grab it pull it right out all right and that's actually this right here is actually the part you're going to be replacing i'll show you in a minute the boost gauge one actually has a cutout for the boost gauge and it's really just literally an insert. It just slides right in there and then you put the other cover on top of it, okay? Now you also have other vent parts in here. So what you're gonna have to do, well, what you're gonna have to do is pretty much gut it. Um, got this little rod on the back. This is what closes and opens the back valve. Um, that's gotta come off and it's just plastic. So you just basically Pull that off right there then this is the little flapper that closes in the back like that and you just basically twist it and it comes out and then last but not least you got this right here this is the uh, other vent section that turns left and right and you're left pretty much with an empty case now uh, the bottom of it you see a hole right there now when you put everything back together you still have the little open and shut thing but it's not going to do anything because this is gutted now another thing you're going to find is the boost gauge when you go to put it in it will actually hit at the bottom so what you're going to have to do is this whole section right here pretty much notch it out so that the boost gauge fits in good also so you have a plenty of area to run your uh, lines and your uh, power and ground or your switch or whatever if you got a seven color boost gauge you know that's going to, that's what's going to affect everything so that's what you got to figure out but um yeah that's pretty much what you're going to have to do then after that you put your insert in then you take your cover you pop it back on and you're done and just slide it back in it'll clip back in and uh i've already done it in this car so let me go ahead and show you the finished product all right guys so this is the finished product boost gauge installed everything popped back in lights turn on like it should i got a new uh, south performance gauge so it matches my gauge lights which is pretty cool and that's how you do that so let's move on all right guys so it's the next day i am going out to the shop and i'm gonna dig into this gti and see if we can't get these panels off now i did take the panels to the upholsterer in raleigh because they had some tight curves and let's face it i'm no upholstery person but I got them. they're going to redo them and I should have them back sometime next week. But let's go ahead and jump into the GTI and tear this thing all apart. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got the panels off. Everything's tore apart. There's a pile right there. The panels themselves are right there. And as you can see, it's got these little tabs right here. What I'm going to have to do is get to it from the backside and re-plastic weld it. You saw, uh, if you watched my past videos, you saw the plastic welder staple so what i'm gonna do is join the panel and this together from the back side and that'll create a real strong bond but had to take a lot of parts off in order to do this including the back seat trunk board all that stuff but if you can tell right there you know, right here got this hanging down there's actually 
little tabs right there and there's screws behind those tabs and they pop out with clips and then you got the back one is the same way that pops out with clips and then the bottom of the seat you have to move that there's these trim panels that go right there you got to pop those out all with clips and there's a screw back there and i went ahead and took the trunk liner piece and basically just all that stuff there's like five or six screws in all this mess but uh most of it's just clips just take your time and everything will be kind of self-explanatory it pops out and this is also what you would need to do if you wanted to get to the speakers back there to change them so when the new panels get wrapped to come in i'll show them to you and we'll put it all back together and all right guys so it's about a week and a half later yeah i know uh, originally i was told two days on the door cards so a week and a half later i was able to pick them up so i'm gonna open these doors and i'm gonna show you i did have to go ahead and uh put everything back together um they turned out awesome i don't know if you can see them that well i'll try to all right guys so this is the probably the best angle i can get with the lighting because it's so poor but i did get them recovered everything looks great as you can see there's that side there's that side and everything's back together it's not missing anything anymore we did the sunshade on the previous video i did have to plastic weld these in which was an absolute nightmare but the gti itself is really coming along that's all i got for you with this video on the next video we're gonna probably get into either the radio install because this radio don't work or we could get into the lip kit but i appreciate you guys tuning in and as always like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video and we'll have that cressida coming back soon as well see you next time